here we are back again with another blend dizzy tutorial we're gonna be messing around with some floating cans uh, this kind of technique that I'm gonna be showing is just gonna be uh, creating a simple background for some type for a graphic design piece I'll have to throw that in later but this will be really short and sweet you could do this probably like a, a morning before your job you know get in a quick finish it and then uh, make a post little type layout and then drop it on Instagram whatever you want to do but anyways let's dive right on in all right everyone so let's dive right on in per usual we're gonna go ahead and just axe everything that's the typical uh, default view we're gonna also turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections and then we're gonna run over to preferences open up your animation little selection go down to F curves into default interpolation Switch that from Bezier to Linear. And that's the default settings here. If you want, feel free to go ahead and like save this as your default startup file, by the way. I think that's something that we should all be doing. I kind of leave mine on the base one because I don't know who's going to be coming in here. You may be new, you may be old, um, but I want to make sure I'm playing it on the safe side. So first things first. This uh, tutorial is going to have lots to do with importing uh, models and whatnot, but there's one add-on that I'm going to need you to install, and it is uh, import images as planes. You're going to want to make sure make sure that you have import images as planes installed. That's going to be a huge win to your creation that you are creating today. So I'm gonna go ahead and link something, but I'm gonna also teach you how to import models from sites like Sketchfab. So what you'll see here is there's a lot of things going on going on in my web browser. But what I did was I essentially pulled uh, a free 3D model made by Hydrangea, and they went in and kind of like put some stuff like video games, and I really like the look of these Japanese snacks. You can pull any one of these uh, for what we're gonna be creating today, but I'm going to be pulling one of these cans and I'm going to show you how to import it and then just pull one of the cans in. So start with import. I believe it's FBX. Okay, tapping back in. I had to make sure I figured that one out. There's an all OBJ file that we're gonna be pulling. So you're gonna import an OBJ. Go to Blender, wherever you keep your your sources of all things great. All OBJ file. And it's gonna load a little bit. I'll take a little bit of time. And you'll see here when you do material preview, you can see that the textures are here. It's kind of cool, huh? You can see all these little like neat food. I got some uh not spirited away I'm blanking out on which Miyazaki film that is but <laughs> anyways what I want to do is go ahead and you're gonna want to select all of the things that you're not gonna use here so let's fast forward <laughs> Okay, once you have your final can, go ahead and take the object set origin. Uh, I believe you wanna select this object, set origin, origin, oops, not origin to geometry, you're gonna do geometry to origin. This way your can is kinda of gonna be centered. And what we're gonna do now is we're essentially gonna do something fun here. So, I want to make sure that I tell you guys the right thing here. You're going to want to select your object, set origin to 3D, uh, to center of mass surface. This way, the care is going to be centered. Now, once you have that set up, let's go ahead and uh, pull our can. It's a little bit further away. Let's do front. We're going to go ahead and spawn in a camera just because we're gonna wanna see what's going on here. So right click, vertical split. And make this one view the camera. I'm just gonna 
We want to see how much of the cans we're going to have here. What we're essentially going to build right now is just a simple animation and rotation. So gonna duplicate the cam. I have two cans here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just rotate it a little bit on the Y axis. Just a subtle amount, maybe 20 degrees. And one of them will be like negative 20, just so it's a bit of the opposite. That way. When they rotate, they'll spin a little bit differently. And what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the can on the Z axis into the second keyframe. You can see we have a little bit of rotation here. Take our other can, insert it, Z360, insert that. You can see we have a little bit of a rotation going on here. You can even tweak with it a little bit, like if you want. If you don't want it to be exactly the same. Okay, once you have your two cans kind of set up, oh, well, two cans. I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to call it base cans. They're based. Once you have that, take your, I suggest taking these two, right? And doing collection instance. And you're going to pull in uh, pull in your, your duplicate essentially your collection instance and you're going to want to set that origin to geometry to origin so you have it centered and what we're going to do is pay close attention because right now we're going to pull together making this like a stack of cans i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to do it a few times because i feel like we're going to want this to be quite big Just want to make sure it matches up a little bit. You can see we have it all together moving now. I'm going to create a new collection instance and I'm going to call it uh, Can Tower. Okay. And your Can Tower. Just going to make that red. What we're going to do with our Can Tower, I'm going to select all the objects within that, bring it out here again. Call it a new collection instance, which is the can tower. Set that origin geometry to origin so we have it aligned here. And you're gonna pull that to the right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it to the right a little bit. And then we're gonna press Shift R a few more times so we can get the exact same length. And you can see here, we have our cans animating in a funky fresh way okay so there's a lot of things going on here i'm going to quickly just recap the can portion because i know you may have lost me and i may have lost myself as well so what we essentially did was we cleaned out the base model that we get, got these cans we took two cans rotated them slightly on the y-axis a little bit differently for both then we just simply rotated it on the z-axis keyframe from 0 to 360 then we took our two base cans, made it into a collection, took, made, created a tower, created that into a collection. Then we took our collections and pretty much just duplicated them throughout. That way, if we ever change one, as you can see, you change one, they all change. You can even, yeah, you can get pretty crazy with this. But <laughs> if you change one, they all change. So now it's not like you have a whole bunch of meshes um, going on around here. Okay, so the second step is we're gonna bring in a plane back. We're gonna bring in an image background. I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe something from one of my projects that I was messing with here. I'm gonna go ahead and include this for you as well. So I'm just gonna do Shift A. If you have the images playing, go to Image. Go down here to where you have your 
your stuff. I'm gonna link this for you. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Let's bring it down. You're gonna wanna scale it up a little bit. And now you can see it's kind of dark, but we're, we're vibing here. We're gonna need to bring in an HDRI just because <laughs> we need to bring in a little bit of light. So I'm gonna go ahead and also link where you can find HDRIs. Don't worry about that. That part is super easy, to be honest. You bring in the HDRI. Things are looking a little bit. A little nice, but it's one of my issues here. You can see the cans don't look all of that. Pull it over a little bit. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is we're gonna pixelate this. So the way we pixelate it is we go to compositing. And you're gonna bring in a scale, two of those bad boys, and then a pixelate. And what's gonna happen is your scale is gonna go in here, you pixelate, and then you're gonna have another scale. So Let's bring in a viewer as well. So reroute, viewer, connect that. Let's just quickly save our document because you know the vibes. Tutorial, pixelate. Oh man. Render the image. You can see we have something. So what you can do here is pretty much set this to like 0 0.25 and then you're gonna bring this up by like four. And you can see at this point we have it looking quite pixelated. It is looking a bit dark. So what you can do, uh, depending on if you chose a pretty dark HDRI, you can turn up the contrast. Let me just render it one more time. And you can see you get a flavorful pixelated background. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for dropping by. You and I, um, we made this tutorial. It's been a bit of a hiatus for me. I think I haven't really worked on many tutorials last week. Did a lot of pushing out on like Blender. So you've come through, through the Blender community. Thank you so much for dropping in. I am a bit more of a newer artist and I've been trying to teach and share some of the little tricks I've been learning along my path. But if you're also a friend of mine, thank you for coming by and supporting me. Um, pat yourself on the back. You did a good job. And I'll see you around.